1957, Detroit. Brothers John and Stephen Burzak leave Duro Mold and Manufacturing to start their own business, Astro Manufacturing, in their garage. The Missile Bank, or Guided Missile Bank, was their first creation, and it probably says a Burzak creation molded into the metal of the fin, as well as uh, Astro Manufacturing. Now, vacuum it was the company that applied the finishes to the Duro banks as well as the Astro banks and uh, vacuum it actually gained the molds to these banks and others from Astro due to John and Stevens deteriorating health they had to shut it down and vacuum it made the uh, guided missile bank as you see here f bare from the factory in 1975 as I said these were patented first in 1957 but they didn't get around to actually making them and selling them until the early 60s some red tape they had to go through anyway in 75 right in time for America's bicentennial celebration Vacuum it produced these banks bare of any finish to be designed to be painted by the new owners. Now they came with paper stickers, red, white, and blue, little American stars, um, United States, Bicentennial, and most were that were painted white by their owners, but I decided to try to get Mr. Peter Max to paint one for me. And the first one I had him actually paint for me was the one in the front here. It's representative of my company, Space Trucking. And it's rather simple in design and uh, application. Um, but I like it. It's, it's beautiful. One of a kind, Peter Max. Now, in the rear, on the left side, is another Peter Max, mixed media, and this one, I decided to go ahead and have him celebrate America's centennial for the 240th year. And um, he got a little bit more fancy with application and technique here. The starbursts, the uh, not starbursts, but fireworks rather, little stars, and two representatives of Lady, Lady Liberty. One on the front, her profile, and then the one on the rear is her full, full frontal. I like what he did with the the fins, little Central Park and Riverside Avenue trees hillsides touch in New York it does have the Empire State Building the RCA building and another building in there I think it's the GE and of course his signature each one of a kind unique Peter Max's now the one on the right in the back yeah that busy one right there that's by an artist named Charles Fazzino an American artist and he's also out of New York and he is famous for his three-dimensional artworks and as you can see that is quite three-dimensional but he followed my concept to a T everything you see on that bank as it almost as it is I had pictured in my mind and kind of drew it out for him in my sim simple stick figures if you will I guess and um, no he really he really took took the ball and ran with it he went over the top with this one uh, my idea was that not unlike the Peter Max with the 
celebration of America's centennial over New York City and Lady Liberty. Lady Liberty is also present on the Fazino, and uh, she's also like a Max around on the back. And uh, the bulk of the body of the rocket is Manhattan, New York City. When people hear New York City, for the most part, they think New York City is just, oh yeah, that's that Manhattan. That's that right there, you know, Central Park, Wall Street, all that stuff. That's, that's New York City. They, they don't realize Staten Island, the Bronx, the Brooklyn, Queens. Um, they don't realize that there's five boroughs. And what I did, my concept was to bring those boroughs together on this rocket represented by four bridges that go from Manhattan to the other four boroughs. And there's the Queensboro Bridge right there. And the Brooklyn Bridge is coming up. And Charles really did. He, he went all out on this one. And uh, I'm quite surprised and still in awe. I just got it this afternoon. But there's the Brooklyn Bridge. The lower half of the rocket. I wanted basically to be water. So you see in the background uh, little other watercraft and circle lines and taxis, stuff like that. That right there is the Kennedy Bridge, I believe, hooking uh, the Bronx, I think it is. And then here's the Verrazero Narrows Bridge, which hooks Staten Island to Brooklyn and then Brooklyn to New York via the Brooklyn Bridge or Manhattan Bridge or the tunnels or whatever. But um, the Verrazero Narrows Bridge, I had to get that one in there. I think that's the only one that goes to Staten Island, actually. And then the Three Tower Queensboro Bridge going to Queens from Upper Manhattan or Upper West, whatever. I mean, East, rather. So there you have it, my three one-of-a-kind unique Burzak Banks, done by two great American artists, I'm space trucking.